Hello people YouTube, this is Barney Hee and today I'm going to, whoop, X that. Today I'm going to be uh, doing a tutorial on how to make a Minecraft 1.3 server and I'm not going to be doing the port for it, I'm going to be doing the Hamachi and how you can connect to other networks have your friends play on the server, a private one, whitelist I'm not doing the bucket, I'm only doing the vanilla as that's the one I found so what you're first going to do is that you're gonna go over here to your internet I prefer Mozilla Firefox and after you have your Mozilla Firefox I'm gonna put a link in the description that goes over to mojang.com and as you may all know they have 1.3 is coming out in August 1st obviously and they actually have the new server exe that came out on July 26 so I'm gonna copy that right there and we're gonna go to the website this is my channel <laughs> alright so as as we scroll down you're gonna pop up at this page right here so after you come here you're gonna scroll down once you see this get the pre-release here if you don't already have or use, well, this is going to be a tutorial for people that when it comes out and for people that are playing the pre-release, that for the client, you can download this. All you got to do is just download it, put it into, replace it with your uh, current Minecraft.jar, the one point, the regular Minecraft. And, um, however, that's not important now what's important is that we're trying to do the server so what you're gonna do you're not gonna download the jar what you're gonna do is download the exe so if you click on this you're gonna press save file alright so once you have this popped up you're gonna minimize your window and you're gonna make a new folder Go to new and folder. Alright. So now that you have your new folder, you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it YouTube Minecraft Tutorial Server. Alright. And once you have this, you're going to double click on it and go into the, f the folder. Alright. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take this. And you're going to drag it into this f new folder you made. So once you have that, you're going to minimize this. And you're going to double click on this. Alright. You're going to press run. And just sit back and let the folder do its work. It's going to start up the um, little micro server Java thing this is all going to be normal, it's going to show everything it's okay if this has failed because this is new and um... once you want to whitelist or put in operators I am going to show that once the server is done so while I'm doing that uh... while this is loading I'm going to open up my minecraft and as you can see this is a really simple really simple thing you can do because mostly it's downloading, making a new folder, dragging your download into the folder, running that exe, and letting it do its work. Alright. So that's at about 89%. Alright. Okay. So I'm going to log in. You know, put that in the background. All right. Once you have done, you if you you can either minimize it or do whatever you want with it. All right. Just give you a little view on how how you're gonna get into your own server. The owner. You're gonna minimize this, right? So you're gonna open up your Minecraft. All right. You're gonna go into multiplayer. Now that in your multiplayer, you're gonna add server this can be either well actually no this is gonna be local host 
that's going to be how you can automatically get into your server. Because later I'm going to talk about how others could join your server using Hamachi. So, you're going to put in local host, exactly how it's spelled. After that, you're going to press done. And it's going to say a Minecraft server right here. Go on that, and you're going to press join server. Alright, once you're going to log in, it's going to be, unless you have a powerful computer or horrible, slow computer like mine, it's going to be really laggy at first, since I do have run the server and have Mozilla Firefox open and things like that. So as you can see, I'm in the server, and I'm lagging extremely. So I'm going to press T and hope that it, alright, hope that it lets me out. Alright, to make yourself up, well actually, hold on. Alright, I just want to copy this so I can put this in the description for you. Alright. Alright, now once that you have your Minecraft and all that, here's what you're going to do. To be able to get all powers, you're going to have to go back to the Java, and if you're a fast paced learner, you, you might already do slash help, which you can, uh, it's pretty easy to do. So if you do slash help, it'll give you all the commands, but to get op powers, you, you're not going to put any slashes, you're going to put op, your username, then there you go. And then right here, that's what it says. Op Barney Hee Hee. Okay, I want to close that out. It's laggy. Okay, so once that you have yourself, you got on the server, here's what you have to do next. What you have to do next, you have to press stop to close the server and save all the chunks. Because next I'm going to get into how to whitelist and you may know this may not so here's what you have to do here's a whitelist right here in order to whitelist you will have to have the username of the player that's going to be whitelisted so example you can put in your username put in like um, something like that you can do save and that's the people you can whitelist you can whitelist as many people as you want and remember to press enter put the username save and then you're finished in order for the whitelist to work you have to go to the server properties file you go into the server properties file it's gonna pop up this thing right here. In this in this little notepad thing, you can set the game mode. Zero survival one is creative. You can set the amount of players that can join the max, spawn monsters, generate structures, view distance, difficulty, PvP, on light mode, texture pack, hardcore, all this other stuff. To whitelist, you have to go down to whitelist right here. And when it's false, you put in true. And if you want to do anything else like enable query, change the falses to true. That's all you have to do. So after you have that, you go to file, save, press X, and you're finished with whitelist. Same thing says ops, you just go into there. You already see, as you can see, when it says Barney he, he here, I already did it on the server itself while I was running, so it saved it here to ops. You can do this by doing it on the notepad or, or manually on the server. Put in, you know, random username, and file and save, and then it's saved. Now you have ops save your whitelist 
your server is running. Boom. So now, we're getting on to Hamachi. But before we do that, if you want to do custom apps, all you have to do is go into a world. All of this here, once you have downloaded the custom app from Minecraft forums or any site like that, you open it from the zip or the raw or anything like that. Delete, delete this or back it up in a new folder or place it into there, and voila. Okay, now on to the Hamachi. So most people have oh, I X that out just to let you guys know. Most people may have lots of problems with their Hamachi. Here's why. If you use either Norton, you can go onto your Norton, and there should be a thing that says firewall. But unless your computer's firewall lets Hamachi do what it wants and connect you, then you're set. Hamachi has lost connection to the engine. What is this? Alright. Hold on, let me, I'll be right back. Let me just pause it and get things back to normal. Okay, we're back. And let me see if I'm... Alright, good, I'm recording. Alright, just had some technical difficulties with Hamachi. Didn't start up, so I had to restart it. But as you can see, you have your normal Hamachi. If you already don't have Hamachi, I'll put a link in the description. Alright, so here... You go over to network, create a, create a new one network. Alright, so here's the deal. When you want your friends to join your network, you have to put in a valid network ID and an easy password so they can join. So, if you put in something like ASDFG, something like that, and do 1, 2, 3, 4. Press create. I see that's taken already. Alright. ASDFGHJLI12. So now that you have that, if you give people the network name and the password, they can easily go over to network, join an existing network, put in the ID and the password. So once your friends are connected, they could either join your server once you've run it and do all that other stuff. However, there are people that have trouble and no one connect to the can connect to the server. This is because if you're on a Windows, this is just a Windows tutorial. If you're on a Windows, the Windows firewall blocks some connections. So what you have to do, you have to go over to your control panel right here. And what you need to do is that you have to go into your control panel and put in firewall. All right, you're gonna you're gonna click here on your Windows firewall. Okay, so here's what you need to do. Apparently, I guess my Windows firewall was off. No wonder I got some viruses. All right, I'm just kidding. All right, so. Turn the Windows firewall on or off. Alright, your firewall blocks any connection such as Hamachi or something if it's not allowed and you can't change that as far as I know. Alright, so what you need to do, I just need to turn that on because I didn't know that was off. But what you need to do is that if your public network says the Windows firewall is on, firewall is on if you go to this and turn off Windows Firewall once you have done that any incoming connections and other things will be able to pass through such as Hamachi for your friends to do once you press OK you are set and after that you can exit out go to your server press on this and it's okay if you want to do this or not. I always like to run it, have the idea of knowing it's running, and give the people your network ID, password to your Hamachi, 
Turn off your Windows firewall for the networks, and then you're finished. Now you have your own private or public Minecraft server, and also you can always create other networks as well because there is a five maximum on the Logmin Hamachi. So create other networks; they will still work. People connected. If you're connected to another network that a other person is connected to. And they're the owner, they can still join your server because you are in that connection to that network. So, once you have that finished, play in your server, do whatever you want, and you're finished. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or any questions, please comment and like. Dislike if you want. I mean, it's free country here. And as always, if this helped you, please subscribe. And I will be doing more tutorials if anyone needs help. Well, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. This is Barty, signing out.